had it good, you know. I spent like six years making sure you came home to love. You had it good, you know. I stood by your side. I spent up so much time trying to make you happy. I don't think you ever could be happy. Maybe you should try some therapy. Maybe you should lose a couple homeboys. Give up on the homegrown. Look at me. I need you to understand. Now when you think of late nights to me, they're in your bed. True ride or die, that's what you had. I loved you. I loved you. I loved you. Now when you think of my body on yours, don't forget. Once I would have died for you, baby. I loved you. I loved you. I loved you. That was then. You don't know, you know You act this big man And you think you are in control You don't know, you know I stood by your side And pulled you away from your fire Again and again and again I shouldn't know fire would win Maybe you should try some therapy Maybe you should lose a couple of boys Give up on the homegirl, look at me I need you to understand Now when you think of late nights to me They're in your bed True ride or die, that's what you had I loved you, I loved you, I love you Now when you think of my body on yours Don't forget, once I would have died for you, baby I loved you, I loved you, I loved you That was then That was then You're gonna miss me, really gonna miss me You're gonna miss me, really gonna miss me You're gonna miss me, really gonna miss me you're gonna miss me, really gonna miss me. You're gonna miss me, you're gonna miss me. You're gonna miss me, really gonna miss me. Yeah, now you think of late nights to me, there in your bed. True, I'd have died, that's what you had. I loved you, I loved you, I love you. Now you think of my body on yours, don't forget. Once I would have died for you, baby. That was then That was then yes. Jade Thornson everybody Woo-hoo. Keep rocking live, live in the studio mm-hmm. Inside it's Radio 103.2 FM I am White Shadow Jade, how are you? I'm good yeah, it's hella rainy outside, isn't it? It's a little bit rainy it outside, is a little yes. Bit rainy. It's, it's one or two uh, drips in the air. Yeah. It's, I had to swim to the studio today. I had to swim to the studio. I, I always go through alleyways, a shortcut alleyway near me, and mm. it's just, it, it looks like a stream at the moment. I, I was, I, I know, I was just hopping and bouncing around trying to dodge the like, six foot puddles. It was not fun. I was going down a dual carriageway, and what mother lane I was in was flooded. It's and flooded. I was like, what, what, indicate, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, t- yeah, today is technically the first day of autumn. Well, it, yes, it definitely lived up to that. <laughs> Theoretically. It's meant to be a really nice week, though. It's meant to be a really nice week. It's, yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's meant to be like 20, above 20, I think, like a week. Uh, well, uh, according to the online weather forecast uh, service that I use, it's yeah. dry all day today. <laughs> liar <laughs> liar I was meant to be playing a um a street party in clap um Ballum Ballum mm. yeah but that didn't happen because it got soggy mm, quite a bit yeah oh, so so you're here instead yeah I know bless oh, the rain joking bless the rain <laughs> 
Oh, so what have you got lined up? Have you got anything exciting happening this week, or is this a chill out week? Uh, oh no, I wish. Um, yeah. I didn't really do much last week because of the weather. Because I play, I played on Thursday, and it was so windy. Oh my god! Oh, it was I know. so windy. Like everything was blowing everywhere. Made like a tenner in like two hours. I was Ooh. like, this is not worth it. I'm going home. So uh, but, really, yeah. everybody who's listening in right now, really, she made about 130 pounds. No, it that's, was, that's... It was that's all in notes lie. that it was very windy. No, and just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they blew everywhere. They blew everywhere. <laughs> that would be Christmas for everyone else in the high street if that happened. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Christmas. No. <laughs> I'm actually getting really excited for Christmas now. I don't know why. Oh, does that mean I, I, awesome. It's because it's not August anymore. Oh my god! Does that mean I'm not going to get told off for doing my Christmas bit later? Yeah. Hey. Well, no. I, I, I'm not in full swing Christmas yet, but I, I, it's, it's in that limbo that I'm just like, come on, because like you wear a jumper in the morning. Oh, this is the first time I've worn a jumper. Actually, no, I tell a lie. I did wear a jumper, and I was still cold wearing a jumper. That's how you know Christmas is uh, summer has gone. Yes, whereas I'm in a t-shirt and sweating. In I the know room. it's weird. It's, it's really a- weird. <laughs> I'm quite cold. My toes. I actually cracked out my slippers this morning. You actually cracked out my your slippers. slippers. Your slippers. Full-length pajamas. And I turned the fan off as well. Whoa. I know. That, I know. That's a sign that Christmas is definitely on its way, yeah, everybody. I get know. excited. Get it. I mean supermarkets are already gone for it. They've already got they've already got Christmas um Christmas themed mince pies. Have you seen that? Uh, Christmas themed mince pies. Mince pies are Christmas. Hmm? Don't get Halloween themed mince pies, do what, you? What? No, I mean, I mean, it's some mean Christmas themed I mince mean, pies. Some mince pies sell, are Christmas. Some people sell mince pies throughout the year, regardless That's wrong. of the fact that it's Christmas. That's like but, selling uh, puddings, like Christmas puddings uh, in spring. Just, just being like, it's what a spring pudding. What could possibly be wrong about selling the benefits of Christmas all year round? Because it's seasonal. <laughs> it's like selling a pumpkin in like July. Uh, Let's make it a thing. No. Let's make it a thing. Let's <laughs> then start you selling... eradicate the whole seasonal thing. But, but, but pumpkins are usually sold at that time of the year no. because they grow at that time of the year. Mince exactly. pies Keep do them. not grow yeah, at a specific mint. time. <laughs> <laughs> mint? I don't know what you're talking about. Mince pies start growing in November. <laughs> okay, well, at the moment, supermarkets <laughs> have homegrown mince pies That's so in wrong. Christmas packaging with a best before end date of November. Oh, my God. So that's the point I was trying to get. <laughs> wow. Why? Are they like warm up pies? I guess so. To, That's so yeah. Why? It's pointless. Yeah, practice, I guess. Yeah. To pra- <laughs> I'm not sure if the store needs practice selling them again because they've done oh. without them for like nine months. Have or... you seen what John Lewis had done with uh, Quality Street? Yes, I have, and I've I've heard how much it costs as how well. Much? And I'm kind of scared. Apparently, it's like twelve pounds. <gasps> but... And you have to have at least four okay, different on the count- flavors. No, have really? to have at least four different flavors. Okay, if you could have a box okay. full of one flavor, what would it be? On the count of three. We'll say it at the same time. Okay, one, two, three. Strawberry Toffee. cream. Oh, oh no! <laughs> strawberry cream. You're welcome to all of my strawberry oh, creams. I love strawberry I do creams. Not, I don't like you can have all of my ones. toffees. I don't like toffee. I, I, it's, it's way too chewy and it's, sticky. Oh, I love chewy. I, I, oh, yeah, no. I love, yeah. You could, no. You could, you could have the orange oh. ones as well. <gasps> I love the orange I ones. I don't like the orange ones. They're always the last to go. I'm, I'm, I, I love them. I'll eat any kind of chocolate. The little caramel the barrels. No problem at all. But the moment I've got strawberry and orange in them, they're my last resort. They sit in the back of the cupboard till I've got absolutely no other snacks. Oh, to on die the for, man. A- <laughs> I love the strawberry cream so much. They're the best. Today is like pretty much everybody setting up here at the I Royal know. Holloway University, ready for Welcome Week. Now, I was hit in the week. face it's- with that when I came in. Was hit in the face with <laughs> It's, oh no, it's I saw like a yellow sign and it was like students setting up 22nd to 24th and I was like, wait, what day is it today? Oh, I can't make so much Uh-oh. of a difference. I just walk on. Nobody oh, ever man. looks at me. And, and you come in in a car and they're like, no, you can't park there. You can't park yeah, here. Yeah, they're can't like, like you need to leave and come back in the other entrance. And then I did a three-point turn in a road <laughs> and then I couldn't turn right out of that road so that three-point turn was completely pointless. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to carry a guy down the hill. I was like, oh, this would be good if I was a good driver, but I'm not. Ah. 
Oh man, let's talk about good drivers. A YouTube video I uploaded yesterday has just tickled me uh, way too with much. With a caravan, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. I might share the details of that later on. I might not. We'll see. We'll see. What do you say we're throwing a few more tunes? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, yes. yes. I thought I might keep the sort of a sunshine theme going on here because mm -hmm. it's so hot and dry and sunny today. I According to a certain forecast. <laughs> uh, so, I, yeah, I just, uh, we've got some 60s tunes coming right up. Yes. Stick around to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. Yeah, boy. That was healthy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy Sunday by Small Faces. Before that, we were listening to Sunny Afternoon by The Kinks. You are listening to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. I am White Shadow and I'm joined in the studio by the singer, songwriter and all-round creative general genius, Jade Thornton. Uh, hello. Who thought that Lazy Sunday with Small Faces was healthy? Oh, no, I just coughed right before you put the song on and then it just goes quiet and, oh, that was healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Thank you. No problem. You're very welcome. Uh, <laughs> you need to keep your eyes on that when I'm around. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Those of you who are not watching Insanity Radio live, you can go to insanityradio.com forward slash video and you will get the live 1080p three camera stream in the studio, assuming you are not my father and using a dongle, of course, because... Uh, there is something like a 45-year delay when you're using about 3 meg download speed technology in an area with a poor that phone signal. That would make me non-existent if it was a 45-year delay. That was, uh, yes. Non-existent times like two. Times two. <laughs> and, and the rest. <laughs> Plus tax, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I know, I'd be non-existent at least 45 times. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading a story and watching a YouTube video the other yes. day about um, a beach in Greece okay. that had been coated in a 300... Don't say plastic. Okay, I won't say plastic. Oh, no. 300-metre cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, that's disgusting. Wow. No. <laughs> That did that. That's even worse. Yeah, apparently the climate, the 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 temperature, the air, the, just the atmosphere that that at that moment in time was just perfect weather for spiders to mm. to. They almost made a sort of a communal cobweb for all of them to start nesting, oh, and and it resulted in a three hundred meter long cobweb coating half the beach and oh. people was very scared there was quite oh, a bit of I don't panic blame <laughs> it, it took a few scientists to explain that they're completely harmless spiders and that the webs will I be disappearing <laughs> soon enough and it won't have any effect on the environment and apparently it hasn't happened and since 2003 2003 was the last <laughs> reported incident of the spiders gathering and making this communal web but 300 meters has got attempting to, be to take over the world you mean yes yeah <clears throat> attempting to take over I the world with a 300 meter 300 meter of cobweb hey <laughs> <laughs> it's spiders because the way because the way our front garden works we have a hedge going alongside the path from the door and then we have a hedge like squaring it off basically yeah so we have a little gate so because we have a gate and the hedge the hedges are like head height either side. Spiders like to make their webs across the gate. Uh -huh. And if you are the first person out of the door in the morning, <laughs> and if you forget, you just get a face full of cobweb. <laughs> or, because when I used to be a Christmas temp, I used to get, I've had to leave the house at like six, ten past six. So I would always be the first out of the house. So you just see me go like... <laughs> <laughs> for those that aren't watching live that was large chopping motions but yes. yeah and your neighbours are like what is she on <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get a face full of cobwebs man it's disgusting I know, I'd actually prefer a prankster putting cling film up at the gate than that yeah I, yeah. I would yeah. I would even if it I went viral would. all over the internet, yeah. I'd rather have a flat face and falling on my back as disgusting as spider webs are they are quite intriguing though have you seen them in like slow motion? They're pretty cool. No, I haven't they're, seen them in slow motion. I'd probably say they're one of nature's like most fascinating things. I think, in my opinion, not it's not fact. I'm not billody, but you know, like uh, you know, you see, they just like launch it 
Because you, you see how far spiders' webs go. How on yes. earth do they get it from one end to the other? Yeah, they fire it. They, yeah, but yeah, just, it's crazy. They're like I the know. size of like a 1p coin and they're firing it like 10... I don't know how many foot. I know. I, I, yeah, it is. A lot. A long way. A, a long way. Firing it a long way. A long way. I suppose it depends on how big the feet are. Yeah. Oh, my God. My friend put a post on Facebook the other day and she said, that you know spiders have tiny, tiny little paws? Like, I'm, I'm not talking like... Well, I didn't like... think they'd have elephant's feet. <laughs> no. But, <laughs> like, Danny, you know, is it Dandy, Daddy, Long Legs? Um, dandy, Long Legs. Dandy, Long Legs. Some people say Dandy. I don't know. Weird. And the Beano Big Fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, more hefty, furry spiders. They yeah. have tiny little paws. Like dog paws, kind I didn't of thing, know that, at the no. end of their thing. As somebody, the per- person that posted it, they posted like close up pictures, and I find that stuff kind of disturbing. So, like, really, like close up of like loads of fibers and stuff. I don't know, that makes my skin crawl. So, any aspiring business startup people out there who are looking for a new avenue to explore, explore, Exp- explore. <laughs> Could consider starting up the first ever spider manicure. <laughs> That's so disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. Wow. Ugh. You could call it a spider cure. No, I'm... I'd rather there be a spider cure as in get rid of spiders. Oh, to see, yes, lots of lots of lots of lots of There's a lot of theories that I mean, I I use peppermint oil, a peppermint oil. I water it down and just spray the window frames and the door frames with it, and I barely ever get any spiders. Really? Okay, I'm doing that. Apparently, they do not like the smell of peppermint at all. Other people say things like putting pine coconuts. cones and then uh, no, co- coconuts. What am I on about? Conkers. Why do I say coconuts? Pine cones and apparently coconuts. Um. <laughs> I was doing something the other day, and uh, I just like opened something up, and there was a, co- a conker <coughs> in there, and I was like, "What? Why is there a conker in my bag?" Okay. <laughs> I keep spiders away. I'm like, oh, "Why?" <laughs> Can you imagine carrying a, a I'm like, coconut in your pocket? It's really autumn. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I want to, I really, really want to hang a coconut from a string now and just go and stand in the playground. You mark his words, I'll come into the studio next week and then there'll be that. The Conquer Wars are no longer the in thing, it's coconuts now. Oh, I used to love Conquer Wars. It's coconuts now. Just try and knock them off the tree in um, primary school. People used to get proper adventurers just for a Conquer. I can imagine, Like they'd get on each other's shoulders and try and knock them down, like throw footballs up there just to knock them out of the tree. (laughs) Oh, those were the days. <laughs> those were the days. Those were the simpler days. <laughs> Back in them there good old days when I was a wee whipper snapper. <laughs> oh wow, those are, yeah, they were fun times. Oh. I can remember some of the things people used to do to harden those conkers. Some of the things people did to cheat. There'd be things like putting them in the oven for a couple of hours so oh they'd harden and be tougher. There were people who would coat them in glue. Um, I mean, that's not a bad idea. I remember somebody it once slowly cut the shell very carefully, cut the shell of a conker open. Scooped out the, the insides, yeah, the, uh, yeah, with yes, a knife. filled it with a knife, and filled it with super glue, and just pressed the shell back together. <laughs> and, <laughs> what? Yeah, and and yeah, just <laughs> what just happened? I breathed near the microphone, and the arm just slowly started dropping. And as opposed to just sort of holding <laughs> the microphone back up, I decided to follow it down to the table. <laughs> Uh, on that note, what do you say we throw on a few more tunes? Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to introduce the next song, or do you just want to tell everybody how amazing it is? Uh, it's an amazing song. I'm it's an amazing song. I'm going to try that again next time with something even more interesting. Stick around to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM, where the tunes are rocking. Play it. I get around by the Beach Boys. Before that, we're listening to Hands the Rising Sun by the Animals. <laughs> and I forgot how to use my mouth then. Um, yes, you're listening to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. I am White Shadow, and I'm joined in the studio by the legend Jade Thornton. Hello! Who is bopping away to the yeah, music there? Boy. I love I Get Around by the Beach Boys. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. My only gripe is it's only two minutes long. Ah, we need to double minutes. that at least. Oh. Two minutes. I know, right? I actually wrote a song the other day and I recorded it and it was like four and a half minutes. And I was like, write oh. <sighs> shorter songs. <laughs> Yeah, Oops. I, 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 well, it's set to have a revamp for 2020. The, a re, yeah, I know, a revamp. A <sighs> remastered and re-released for its 50th anniversary. Oh, is that necessary? I don't know. Do you think it's necessary? I really don't think it's necessary. I think there's a lot of things that can be spent on than doing a revamp of Let It Be. I, know, I didn't it? even know that that was a film. Oh, it's what you do now. Oh, I do now, exactly. I you thought do, that was just their song and that was yeah, it. I think it was released in 1970. Yeah, I'd probably it's, be why I didn't know thing. Yeah, no. It's, <laughs> you might have been a little bit young then. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. I feel like at that point you weren't even the glint in your father's eye. I don't think my parents had even met. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, they hadn't, because they um, were, like, young. But it's, it's, yeah, it's planned to be released for a DVD and a Blu-ray. Um, and just... Be, How do you feel about I, that, Terry? I... I, Do you I think mean, that's necessary? It could have been worse. It could have been a, a remake as opposed to a remaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah I suppose so. Um, I mean, remakes are never necessary. Um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, the only films that are worth remaking... We're about to make a great pun ...are here. the ones that are awful. What's wrong with just letting it be? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, but no, but legit, what oh, is wrong with letting it be? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That was a great joke. Oh, Don't grief. let it die. In case you have any dairy intolerance, do not come to Insanity Radio <laughs> where the cheese is too much. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> that wasn't even mild cheddar. That was like full blood. Well, what yes, is wrong, uh, <laughs> That's a genuine question. But yes, what is Can't wrong? Can't they like release a plaque or something? A plaque. Like, come on. Release a plaque. A plaque. Oh, it's been how many years? It's going to be 50 in 50 2020. 50 years, yeah, okay, cool. Just release it on DVD, don't... Uh, don't remaster know. it, don't, don't yeah, revamp it. Don't, uh, 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 yes, spend, spend, spend the money on a, a Blu-ray disc with, like, 70s quality to it. I know this isn't the problem, right? Mm -hmm. But whenever you go to London, especially if you go round Abbey Road, yeah. the amount of money that they are making off of tourism mm -hmm. is insane. I went into Abbey Road Studios, went into the gift shop, like, don't get me wrong, I, if I had the money, I probably would have bought some of the stuff, so I'm completely <laughs> contradicting what I'm saying. But they had, like, a little, um, like, the signs up there, they had, like, Going Live Studio 2 or something. I'm mm. gathering that's where they recorded their album. £25. Like, the size of... Uh, what's, what's smaller than A4? Is it A5 or A6? Or A3? A3 uh, is the big ones, yeah, yeah. A5. An A5 size of paper. Wow. A uh, piece of paper, yeah. It was just like, it was like a plaque. Yeah. Do you, uh, you, it was like you can definitely get them from uh, online stores for half that price. I wouldn't even buy it for half that price. <laughs> I'm so tight. I honestly am. But it's kind of understandable if you're doing what you're doing for a living and everybody else is like... <laughs> yeah, I say like... that I'm tight, right? You know, I need to... Oh, I actually took my car to the garage the other day. You know, you know, you know what the problem is with my car? The air freshener ran out? No. My black box is causing problems with my car. What it's kind of slowly problems? killing my car. What kind of problems? It's, uh, I took it to the guy and I was like, mm, he was like, okay, I'll take it around the block. And I was like, hey, I'm warning you, I do have a black box. So please bear that in mind and he's like okay and it was meant to be a problem with the turbo because I was accelerating and I was just getting constantly overtaken all the time because it takes me forever to get up to speed and um and he was like no it's not the turbo the turbo is absolutely fine and I was like whew because that's like approaching a grand and I was like I don't 
don't have that money. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, that's good. And then he's like, oh, you need to get this fixed. And I was like, yeah, I knew that. But um, he took it around the block and he was like stationary and he put his foot down and I was like, my black box square is gonna die. I was like, this is bad. And he was like, it doesn't go that badly. He thinks I th- he was like, I think the problem is you're driving it like a nun. Like that is the problem. <laughs> that is the problem. That is that is the issue with your car, is the way you're driving it. Your car has the potential to go fast and pull well, but it's pulling that badly because you're driving it like you are. But I'm in a rock and a hard place between rock and a hard place because I can't drive it quickly otherwise my black box score goes through the floor (laughs) so any students listening outside uh, if any of you have a black box uh, you can help me please because yes wow rubbish I know wow that's okay I can't let it go above one and a half thousand revs right and he was bringing it up to four thousand and I was like (laughs) And he was like, yeah, it's fine. It's a great little car. I was like, oh, yeah, I can't drive it like that, though. So, wow. So, I know. Okay. So, it's rubbish. Wow. So, I, know. I mean, they, they, um, I was, I, that's left me speechless. It's, I know. It's so annoying. It's really left me wondering what sort of conditions and rules and things they actually monitor in a black box now. To, it's, it's ridiculous. I, it's, honestly, they're doing damage to my car. Could, they're doing damage to my car. What's that? Well, it sounds to me like they could actually potentially be putting people at risk as well. Yeah, they are. They are. If your car isn't functioning the way it should the on the road. The amount of times I have had... No, this is going to sound really bad. Because you're trying bad. to follow the rules. Yeah, the, the amount guidelines. of times I've almost had a problem on the road because of I've had to look at my revs, my acceleration, or I've had to watch my speed. or And I bet people are listening being like, just pay attention, Jade, come on. But... The amount of times I've been like, oh, I need to break gently here or I can't like emergency stop here because my black box score will be killed. Or mm, uh, if wow. I'm pulling away from a light and I'll go like first, second, and I have to wait for it to get to a certain rev to change gear. Because people are like, oh, you just change gear when you know, like, you know, when you know, you know, you just change it, you know. And I'm like, oh, I can't do that. And people behind are like, come on! <laughs> Can't go any faster. Wow. But yeah. Yeah. That's, so that's that's a very big flaw. That is that's a, a very, very big flaw. You might yeah. save fifty quid on your next insurance bill, but you might end up in hospital too. Mm-hmm. Good grief. That's yeah. um wow. If there's anybody else listening in right now who's got any experiences with the yeah. black box that I need to get a window sticker that says I have a black box. I do have one, but it wouldn't yeah. peel off correctly. That, yeah, please do tweet into the studio with your experiences and your opinions at Insanity <laughs> Radio because I would love to hear what you think. Yes. Um, wow, that's. I'm sp- I, <laughs> and you know how I need to fix, like, a, get on my way to fixing my car? Yes. Is I just basically I need to take it to the garage and they put their foot down. It needs a good thrashing, basically. And I can't do that because of my black box! I know. Because when I put my foot down, smoke pours out the back. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> like it smoked like 10 packets a day wow like whoosh, straight out the back so it needs to be cleaned like the whole system needs to be cleaned and it needs to be thrashed on the accelerator so i'm gonna have to ring up my insurance and be like look um i'm not driving it like i stole it <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm just trying to fix my car uh, yeah wow i know that's yeah that's that, uh, it's rubbish. That raises it's more rubbish. questions than it answers, that's for exactly. sure. Exactly. That's it scary. Really does. What do you say we throw on a few more tunes? Yes. Yes. Because, oh. uh, yes, because we have more cars on the way. What? Like a, the Volkswagen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Stay tuned to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. Mm-hmm. You'd always find me in the kitchen at bar. <laughs> That's so true, though. Uh, by Jonah Louie. Before that, well, we were food listen- is. We were- <laughs> yes, food. Before that, we were listening to Obla Di Obla Da by the Beatles. Yeah. 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 Uh, more songs I think should have been longer. Yes. Yes. Oh, was that one? I 
Two minutes fifty-five. Two Come minutes on, fifty-five. I know. And obla dee obla da is like three minutes. It's, uh, it's we we. I know. We we need like. Song should be like three and a half minutes to four minutes, I believe. I like that. Yes, that's uh, a good number. That's like radio half. standard, isn't it? I three. No, I I have no idea. Apart I, from like Bohemian Rhapsody. Do I look like a professional to you? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Wow. You've gone straight on my Christmas card list. Oh, I thought I was already on there, but all right. <laughs> You're on there Rude. twice now. You're on there twice Rude. now. Rude. <laughs> Rude. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of professionals. Yes. Um, the veteran, Ken Dodd, Sir Ken Dodd. Um, he, his, his life is going to be celebrated in a BBC programme called mm. Ken Dodd, How Tickled We Were. Well, like a... a a, um... The documentary kind of uh, thank you very much kind of yeah. he did some amazing stuff story of his life interviews with his family and figures from like the world Scylla, of entertainment. Like we going like life documentary. Are uh, we going life documentary? Oh, okay. I like Scylla, That was good. Uh, we're we're going to have interviews from his family members. Uh, uh, you know, a bit of air. Wait, is he still alive? Is he uh, passed away in March? Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, aged ninety. Damn. Yes, ninety. Wow. See, ninety, ninety is. Uh, I was going to say ninety is a good age, but then I remembered only fools and horses when Uncle Albert said, "Well, it weren't for him; he died." And um, <laughs> <laughs> um so <clears throat> Uncle Albert. But I, I love Uncle Albert. It's one of the best. <laughs> Buster Merrifield, wherever you are, oh, is doing good. Um, uh, yeah, but also on top of it, oh no, Buster Merrifield was another one that passed away a while back, a long while back now. Probably uh, a long, the entertainment long while. industry is getting hit hard. And Chaz and Dave, uh, Chaz, of course, just mm-hmm. I think it was was it yesterday, early hours of yesterday yes. morning, had passed away yeah. uh, peacefully in his sleep. Um, so yeah, it's, it's that's that's a lot of famous people passing away. Know. There's a lot of a lot of bad news. A what lot of you, was it last year? Legends. It was really bad for. I think was it the year before? I think I feel like it was last year. Yeah, we, we seem to started have started off with like Prince, David Bowie. Yes, yeah. yes. Damn. Um, and Aretha Franklin. Oh yeah, that was this course. year. Of course, that was this year. Sir Roger As, Moore and Sir Roger Moore. It's wow. Some of the legends. I know. Victoria Wood. Victoria Wood, yes. Yeah, legend. Some of the legends. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, uh, what was it? Oh, as I said, the, yes, the BBC. Uh, the BBC, yes, it's the BBC that's... Ken Dodd. Uh, Ken Dodd, yes. Ken Dodd's memory, a special documentary about his life's work and his unique relationship with the British public. Um, that's supposed to be happening... Uh, uh, as, as, uh, was it later this year? I'm pretty sure they said later this year it's going mm. to be broadcast uh, on BBC. What a Christmas thing? Uh, it, it might be. I'm not too sure. It's, it's BBC I Two is TV. going to be doing it later this year. So I remember it's nearly Christmas, so maybe. Christmas TV is the best. Christmas TV is the I best. Love I think Christmas TV. I think repeats of Christmas classics mm. are the best. But I finished Gavin and Stacey now, so I'm just watching the Christmas special. So that is part partially what has got me into Christmas. I get very, very, very defensive and critical when it comes to Christmas classics. People seem to think any old... So you about to say Gavin and Stacey then. I was like, what have you got against it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Karen! <laughs> I, I, I genuinely... People seem to think that any old romantic What's your comedy... Christmas special? Oh my! Fa- I, I, I'm, I'm torn between some of the Home Alone stuff, yeah. but I, I love a Muppet's Christmas Carol. Mm, that's classic. And Blackadder's Christmas Carol. Hmm. I like the recent one that Outnumbered did. That was really good. That was really good. I ain't seen it. It's really good. I ain't seen it. Because all the kids are like way grown up, like way crazy grown, grown up, up. Like crazy grown up. Um, yeah. 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 Zimmer oh, frames and false teeth and Shrek the holes. <laughs> Shrek the holes. <laughs> Love Shrek the holes. Shrek the holes. You're is never a good too one. old for Shrek. Shrek lives on. But it's I, not dead. But I, I, Shrek I really lives get on. annoyed when people TV shows, TV stations. They're like that. They're like we've got so many Christmas films coming up, and then it's like some bog standard romantic comedy Die that hard. has one bauble sat on a. Yeah, I do not consider Die Hard. I love Die Hard, but yeah. I will never consider it a Christmas <laughs> movie just because there's Why a Christmas is it tree in a bit movie? of. Is because it just because it's set at Christmas? I'm pretty sure it's because it's set at Christmas oh, or around Christmas man. time or because there's a Christmas tree in the corner or it's nearly snowed once. It's like you could call Friends a Christmas theatre programme because it's set yeah. at Christmas. Apparently you can just put a 
bauble on the dashboard in one scene once and that's enough to qualify as, as, as a Christmas movie favourite Christmas movie three two one go I don't think I have one you don't have a favourite Christmas everybody's got a favourite Christmas movie I don't think, like I said, the Santa Claus Blackadder's Christmas Carol is the, the closest Santa I Claus. get I love to Christmas a, movies I mean at the Muppets Christmas Carol Elf Elf no. Oh, you've really got me into Christmas now. Stop it. People are going to hate this. People are like, it's September. Let me get back to uni first. One movie, a lot of people would groan, roll their eyes, or just be totally confused by this. But one movie I do have a habit of enjoying watching at Christmas time is called Good Night, Mr. Tom. Or is it Goodbye, Isn't Mr. Really Tom? Isn't that really sad? It really sad. I swear I've seen it played around Christmas plenty of times. Before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's more of a sort of a nostalgia kind of thing because it's yeah. one of the things that I, I was Christmas brought is up a time with. For nostalgia, though. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, it's any time's a time for nostalgia. <laughs> Pretty much. <a> day. <laughs> yeah, true. Pretty much all of my shows are based around. Yeah. I remember when. <laughs> Almost every show turns right into. Back. Every single show, yeah. I'm given an excuse to go back in them there good old days when I was a wee whipper snapper. I was searching through my room the other day. And, uh, oh, my dad says the Not Going Out Christmas specials. They are pretty damn great. Have you ever seen Not Going Out? No. It's so... I, I was actually thinking this last night. It's such an underrated program. We usually go and watch it live when it's recorded. Have you heard of Lee Mack? No. No? He's a he's a comedian and he he started this like it started off as um like a sitcom and he moves in with his best mate's sister because he needed a flat and she needed a roommate basically. They basically end up falling in love. The first few series it was more like she's like getting on with her life and he's just her lodger. And then they end up falling in love, and then they get married, and then they've 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 done this whole shift now, and it's like a family sitcom. To be honest, I didn't really think it was going to work, but it actually works really well. Their Christmas specials are so funny. Smooth. They've got one that's like kind of like Die Hard. They go into a Christmas, they go into a shopping center, and um, they what well, the Lucy, the woman in the flat, now. They are married. She is now pregnant. She's quite close to her due date, and she gives birth in the shopping centre. But they're also being—they also get caught in like this heist and stuff. So it's pretty like die hard. It's well good though. Cool. You should watch it. You should watch it. I'm curious now. It's really funny. I'm it's curious really funny. now. What's it called again? Where can Not we find it? Not going out. Not going out. I think it's on BBC One primarily, but it's also on Dave. I okay. Think. Awesome. I'm going to look Dave. for that now. I'm going to look for that now. That's a good tip. Dave. All right, Dave. Yeah, boy. It's really good. <laughs> Trigger, why do you keep calling me Dave? <laughs> <laughs> That's your name, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's Rodney. <laughs> Dave. What's Rodney then? A nickname, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, what do you say we throw on a few more? T- okay, so we have two new tunes lined up that yeah. you have chosen. Yeah. Is there any in particular reason? I just think they're great tunes. You just think they're great I tunes? I think they're amazing tunes. I'm stuck in the past, me. Does everybody else out there think they're great tunes? I Let hope us so. know. Tweet into the studio at Insanity Radio. And stay tuned. Mm-hmm. For more tunes. Stay tuned for more tunes. Yeah. Tunage. Tunes. <laughs> Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac. Before that, we were listening to When Doves Cry by Prince, both chosen by Jade, who's here in the studio with us today on Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. I am White Shadow. And... Take a breath. I do... <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I, 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 okay, I'll take yeah. a breath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So what did everybody think of those songs? I mean, I, I thought they were amazing. What a great choice. Great, great selection. Great I like them. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. I've got a much, 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 much better song lined up next. <sighs> a much better song. And under the circumstances, it's probably going to be played a lot yeah, over the coming weeks. It's apt. It's apt. It's apt. Mm-hmm. It's yes. It's it's apt. I had to think about what apt actually meant for a moment there. I was like apt, apt, apt. It sounds like it's short for something. It sounds like it's applied or uh, applicated. No. Or apartment block. I don't know. We say the word app. 
can't remember the number of times when I used to have to do pizza deliveries years and years and years ago when I used to be going to apartment six and the, the, the manager would be like, this one goes to app six. I was like, okay, app six. Was, uh, looking on a map for app six for ages. Um, <laughs> Go up oh, the stairs. Those were good times. Those are, yeah. Were you on a moped? Uh, yes. Ah good old 50cc. <laughs> automatic. Oh, just automatic. Automatic. Just sit on it. That's the dream. Oh, yeah. That's the dream. I'll oh, get there one day. It almost That's worked once. <laughs> you just splatter from spot to spot. <laughs> oh, well, I remember sat on the moped once. It, it, was, it kept cutting out. There's some sort of power shortage, power surge or something. It just kept cutting out every now and then. And it just happened to decide it was going to short right when I was approaching a roundabout oh. on a small hill. Oh. There was an entire team of construction <sighs> workers right next to me. As I was approaching Don't. this minor, it can't have been more than about two or three feet high, this oh hill, God. before hitting the roundabout. And the moped decided that roll? was the moment it was going to cut out a power, and it's like, <gasps> like that. And it just sort of died halfway up this hill and it almost started you just, rolling. Like, scramble with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to start it, and it's just going, <gasps> while trying to reach this little tiny hill. Just, just. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. You'll find it anywhere. It's much, much, worse, much less than the Egham Hill kind of hill. And it was really going, wee, trying to get up this hill at about two or three mile an hour. The entire construction team right next to me laughing their heads off. Do you want to push, mate? <laughs> I would have been like, yes. It was because the power was cutting out. The, the, oh, the moped man. was not that bad. It, it could manage hills like that, but it's one moment because of the you know technical fault it was having Ooh. was just randomly cutting out at that moment in time. It just picked that moment and uh, ah. it was brilliant. That was ah, just brilliant. It was brilliant. It I was... mean, I've stalled at quite a few bad places before. I've stalled at traffic lights before. When I was learning, I'd stalled at traffic lights, and by the time I'd sorted myself out and turned the engine back on, the lights had gone red again. So you get that <laughs> ah, ah, from behind, and I'm like. <laughs> I was trying to now cross. I'm that person behind doing that. <laughs> I was trying to cross at the um, traffic lights at the top of Egham Hill a couple of days ago. And um, I got to the middle point and I had to press the button again to wait for the green man so yes. I could pass the rest of the way. And the traffic, right, and, and I was waiting. It just started moving. Just yeah. as I started moving, the car at the very, very front had two young girls in it driving. And well, they, they weren't both driving. And they almost stalled. <gasps> and. The, the car was just jolting forwards. Oh, I and do that it all the like time. Out of the cartoon, it was just so brilliant. It was just me stood there waiting for the lights to turn red, red and and this black car just sort of went do 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 it. Was it me? It looked like it was playing. They were playing frog leap or something. Yeah. It was just like joint 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 joint. Bunny hopping. And they That's looked cool. at me with such an embarrassed grin, and I just couldn't help but laugh. I I, I, oh. I didn't really soak in. I didn't really absorb. I didn't really notice what was happening. I was in a world of my own. That is the beauty but, of the road is you will most likely never see that person again i saw her look at me with such an <laughs> embarrassed grin at what she was looking at you she was going oh god a witness <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh those that was that was such a fun moment just we just were in central bournemouth was it bournemouth brighton brighton central brighton that's close and um it was really busy and there was a learner Right in the middle of the town. I think it might be a one-way system right around there. So that makes things like double as hard. And because um, if you go the wrong way, you're screwed. And um, they were right at the beginning of the traffic lights, massive queue behind them. They stalled. And oh. we were walking up the street and I was going, come on, come on, like, turn your car back on. Go and get into gear. Kept walking. No movement. Kept walking. No movement. We got to the top of the road and they still hadn't moved. It was wow. ha, ha, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> oh man. So that's something that never bothered me when I was taking my driving lessons. Not once was I ever flustered. I must have stalled about two I or three times. I was flustered was my middle name. I was never flustered. If I ever if I ever stalled, I'd just sit there just so calmly, just just gather my thoughts and carry on doing what I was doing. There'd be cars behind me tooting their horn, doing what they do, throwing their tantrums, and I'd just be like, yeah, yeah, you just wait two minutes max yeah. i'm gonna be sat there doing yeah. that thing if they're in such a hurry yeah that, that they can't I panic. afford to I wait for that one minute i panic to like so badly 
yeah, I say, I'm, 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 I'm just one of those very laid back, chilled out people. I when so it comes wish to I was. Like I'm, I'm, I'm still cooking yesterday's breakfast. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm all chilled. We've I got mean, this, my dad it? would take me out on like side roads, and I'd be all right. I'd be, I, I, I mean, I can make a car go, and I can make a car stop, and I was like, okay, that's fine. And I was like, do you want to go out on the main? No, no. <laughs> What's your problem? Other people. Other people are my are like my issue. Now I'm obviously because I passed. I think other people is usually most people's issue. Yeah, because like, like you got to drive like everyone's an idiot. That's what I always say. That is my only advice to anyone learning. You have to drive like everyone else is an idiot, and nobody else knows what they're doing, I, including yeah. yourself. But you have to be aware. It's yeah. insane. People say. I don't think you really understand until you drive by yourself and you don't have dual controls. Mm -hmm. And then you're in, you're in a car by yourself. I think you don't really... It's like you can't compare this to having kids, but you know everyone's like, it's going to be hard, and then you have a kid, and you're like, ah! <laughs> yeah. I'm not speaking from experience. I'm not, I'm not with child. But um, I got in the car, and I was like, oh, I don't know my instructor telling me when to change gear, when to stop, when to change down. I'm like, ah! Yeah, and if I'm yeah. plowing into a junction, she ain't there with the dual yeah, controls exactly, to stop me. Exactly. No pressure. Exactly. But yeah, I'm, I'm one of these people. I could happily just sort of stop my car, turn it off right in the middle of a busy road, <gasps> just kick back and relax. And while all the other cars are behind me, <laughs> why would you do that, I, I Satan? Could, I could quite happily do that. I would have what no problem earth with would that. would make you want to do that, if, though? Well, when you consider the fact Don't that, say if duty calls, because there is no duty <laughs> that would call for that. <laughs> Why would, on earth would you do that? Why would anybody be in such a major hurry that they can't wait for one minute? If you don't know what people are doing. What if they're, what if they're a husband on, to, on the way to the hospital with, and their child's in labour? Oh, I'm only is, saying that because I watched Gavin and Stacey the other day. <laughs> that what? is valid. That is a good point. In those, that is a good point. Those, but, that's, that's what I have to think of because I'm like, okay. But what about other situations? I know. There's like yeah, roadworks and things. So and the, uh, the council are out there with, with, with the, like, you know, traffic people lights. Are, so massive fallback lanes closed. I was, closed. A, I the, was on I, the... I, I had to walk all the way back from Old Windsor once because Ugh. the... I know. Uh, from, from, oh. I started in Staines and I was headed oh. back and uh, the driver never told me they're not going to Wangerfield Green. So it, it felt like it. All because that one... In, there, was, there was about less than one foot of hole on Priest Hill where they were they were doing some re re rewiring or replacing some pipes or something because of that one foot it's... of hole on Priest Hill. I had to go all the way around from yeah. Egham to Old Windsor on the bus and walk back from there. That's what does my head in when I'm on the way here and they close a lane to cut the grass. That's what you call an inconvenience, exactly. And I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> Just do so, it at night. So somebody's stopping <gasps> for one minute. In the road while they restart their accidentally yeah, stalled but, car. If you, if you take a minute to restart your car, get it into gear, put the handbrake on. I used to say intentionally take two or three if minutes. If you do that in your test, I'm pretty sure that's deemed as dangerous I would sit driving. There and I would just be like, okay, just give me a moment, gather my thoughts, think about it. I need to do this. <laughs> what am I hoping for? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> gather my thoughts. My only thought would be oh, you need to well. get this car back on right now, into gear, go! What about situations when a car crashes and that road is blocked off for two days while they try to arrange a truck mm. to go tow it? Mm -hmm. Two mm. minutes is not a big issue. See, I mean, driving was always quite terrifying for me, but now I'm like, oh, it's really peaceful. And I'm like, you know, like, like nice me time. And then <laughs> like today was fine. And then the spanner was in, thrown in the works with all the students arriving. And I was like, OK, if I, well, I had a warning, obviously, it's university time, so... But I didn't know it would be that chaotic. And yeah. I was like, <laughs> but to anyone else, it probably would have been fine. But I'm just, I, I like things not changing. <laughs> yes, things not changing is very, not very good. Things not changing is amazing. Yes, not amazing. changing. Agreed, agreed. Mm. Stop changing. If the world could stop changing. Yeah, that'd be grand. How things are exactly at this very moment I'm in like time. i like Joey in the last season of Friends. He's oh, I don't like all this change. <laughs> <laughs> no. Having said that, there are still things going on in this world that I'd quite happily change right now. Yeah, me too. But on that note, <laughs> I feel like we've been uh, having quite a bit of rabbit right now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank Go you. on. Go on. <laughs> Stay tuned to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. Rabbit, 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 rabbit.
First letter arrive She said Be careful of that one love He'll do what it takes to survive You and your words flooded my senses Your sentences left me defenseless You build me palaces out of paragraphs You build cathedrals you wrote me I'm searching and scanning for answers in every line for some kind of sign of when you were mine the world seems to burn burn you the letter she wrote you you told the whole world how you brought this girl into our bed clearing your name you ruined our lives do you know what angelica said when she read what you done she said you married an icarus he has flown too close to the sun You and your words obsessed with your legacy Your sentences border on senseless And you are paranoid in every paragraph How they perceive you myself from the narrative let future historians wonder how Eliza reacted when you broke her heart you've torn it all apart I'm watching it burn watching it No place in our bed Sleep in your office instead With only the memories That might have redeemed you You forfeit our rights to my heart You forfeit the place in our bed You sleep in your office instead With only the memories When you were mine Jade Thornton live in a studio, everybody. That was a cover and a half. I love Hamilton. That with a passion. <laughs> that was an impressive cover. I never you, do musical theatre songs because nobody ever seems to like them. Well, I like that. Yes, I and you're like, not a fan of musical theatre, but yet you like that. And I'm not a fan of musical theatre. Mm-hmm. Yes, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. If you're a fan of hip hop, listen to Hamilton because Hamilton is just amazing. The no, if, if you want, if anyone who was interested, the pre, uh, the, I don't know what you should know about that song is that um, Hamilton was basically it's near the end of the musical and he uh, gets into a bit of a romantic scandal and he is married and basically he sleeps with another woman, and um, he's like, um, yeah, I'm gonna release a statement to uh, protect my career, but he doesn't realise. Well, I think he does realise that he then damages his wife. Not damn well. 
you know, emotionally scars his wife because he's like, okay, I'm going to release this statement. Yeah, I did sleep with this woman, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, the Reynolds pamphlet. And then she's like, eh, I'm going to burn all of your letters now. Smooth. Yeah, I know, right? What a lad. Not. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's that's a story. That, yeah. Wow. That... Yeah, honestly, it's an amazing musical. I love the phrase, though, he da damaged his wife. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like, he, he wasn't planning on it, but, you know, she kind of has to be like the collateral damage, you know? Yes, definitely. Because he's like, I want to be pr uh, president. And of course, before that, we were listening to Burning Down a House by Talking Heads and Rabbits by Chaz and Dave. Mm -hmm. And we definitely need more Chaz and Dave music on this system. I say it all the time, and now I feel like over the next week, other people's going to be saying it too. Yeah. And they're going to be like, finally. Yeah, that yeah. I have mixed comments about that, though. Oh. You know, because oh. you, know, you had no songs oh. in the system, and now there's going to be like loads because he's dead. See, I you know? know, yeah. I've, it's bad. I've been wanting to put so many on a system. Yeah. I've been a long time no, fan for like 30 on here, years. <laughs> Ever since it's a cultural thing. I was a wee whippersnapper. <laughs> I've been obsessed with Chaz and Dave music. Aww. All of them, the sideboard song. Just, I, I love them all. And, and it, I've got to admit, I'd never really heard much of their music. There, there are some that probably would be inappropriate for today's... <laughs> Yeah, um, it's a different time. It's a different time, yes. But mm -hmm. I don't, uh, there are just so many amazing songs they did. What, they, and, what did they class themselves as? Like Cockney Rock or something? Uh, some people call them folk singers. What? But Cockney, <laughs> Cockney Rock is a good one. I like that. Cockney so they were rock. described as on the news yesterday. That, I could I could go along with that. I could accept <laughs> that. But yeah, a lot of people could describe them as a folk singers. Oh. Some people describe me as a folk singer. I'm like, excuse me, what? <laughs> I don't understand. Um, yeah. Uh, I know exactly what I say. Yeah. Um I know, I know, I know, I know. Um I'm <laughs> People are like, Oh, what genre do you fit into? I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying hard to country, find a way I'm like, sorry? Of No, I don't fit into country. No. No, no I don't. I, I don't, exactly. I, 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 yeah, I officially cannot find a way of defending, explaining or Exactly the folk singer I mean yeah, um, oh, okay. part of me. Okay, well, uh, today... I know, it's weird, yeah, it's weird. It's, yeah, okay, today is the 23rd of September 2018, which means, you know what it means? How many days? There are 93 days left until Christmas! Oh yeah, because it was 100 last week, wasn't it? Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> oh, Merry <God>. Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Yeah, and on this day in 19... Yeah, okay, yeah, I won't do it all in that no. voice. No, 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 we got this, we got this. On this day in 1938, a time capsule written as to be opened in the year 6939 was buried at the World's Fair in New York City. Wow. The capsule contained a woman's hat, a man's pipe, and 1,100 1, inches of microfilm. <laughs> Feet. 1,100 feet of microfilm. <laughs> there we go. It's a, little oh, wow. bit more than, it's a little bit more than inches. Wow. Um, on this day in 1952, the first closed circuit pay TV telecast of a sports event was aired. Nice. Nice. Uh, on, on this day in 1957, nice. that'll be day by Buddy Holly and crickets reach number one. Nice. Nice. 1958, the Great Britain performed the atmospheric nuclear test at Christmas Island. Not so nice. Not so nice. 1961, we saw the first movie to become a TV series ever. Which was? It was How to Marry a Millionaire. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> um, maybe if you had, you'd have married a millionaire or Possibly, something. Possibly, yeah. Possibilities. In 1962, on this day, ABC's first colour TV series was broadcast. And Which was? It was The Jetsons. Never heard of it. You've never heard of the Jetsons no. by Hannah Barbera? Oh wow! This, oh, check it out. Check Oi. out the Jetsons. It's the Oi. most Oi. awesome cartoon of its day ever. Very futuristic family house. Oh, my mum was doing a crossword the other day, and that was uh, one of the clues. Yeah, smooth. What's the dog called? Oh, that was the clue. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow! I've caught you now. Wow. Anyway, yeah, next one. Oh, well, yes, 1969, <laughs> Northern Star and Illinois University newspaper started rumours that Paul McCartney was dead on oh, this day in it's so intriguing. I love that because it's very <laughs> I love it. It's one of my faves. In 1974, the BBC CFAX began its first teletext service. 
Nice. 1994, on this day, the Shawshank, thank you, the Shawshank Redemption was released. Uh, yeah, on this day, 1994. And in 2002, on this day, the first public version of the web browser Mozilla Firefox, oh um, God. named Phoenix 0.1, was what? released. What? Is that pre Windows? Uh, no, I don't know. That was not pre Windows. Oh, it wasn't pre Windows. 2002. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to it. <laughs> My own guest dog doesn't was called pay attention Astro. to my show anymore. No, sorry. Astro, yes, Astro that was the dog. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I could have sworn you said an earlier date. Astro, you're right. That is, oh, wow. I, yeah, Astro. <laughs> Who told you this? My dad. I just texted. <laughs> dad, you are awesome. I was not going to, I was going to lose sleep tonight trying to remember <laughs> the dog's name. That, that is, is the worst awesome. thing. And you're like, what is it? I know. Now, five years ago, on this day, the number one song in the UK Can was Talk Dirty by Jason Derulo. Oh. That was 2013. What? Ten years ago, 2008, on this day, the number one song in the UK charts was Sex on Fire by Kings of Leon. Mm, solid. Fifteen years ago, on this day, uh, Where is the Love by the Black Eyed Peas. Fifteen uh, years 15 ago. Fifteen years ago. They I were the number four. one in the UK charts. <laughs> Oh, well, I was still old back then. <laughs> <laughs> the number one song in the UK charts 20 years ago, back in 1998, was I Want You Back by Mel B. Love it. Featuring Missy Elliott. Yes. Yes. Now, Awareness Days. Hmm? Awareness Days. Okay, is there more? So there's more. In October? There's more all the time. Today is the start of seed gathering season. Of course it is. Of course oh, yeah, it is. It's harvest, isn't it? It's officially, yeah. yes. The autumn harvest is now yes. upon us. Mm -hmm. So my pumpkins need to hurry up a little bit. <laughs> That's the only thing I enjoy about Halloween is carving pumpkins. Yeah, I know. This is the, Yes. I was saying to somebody, that, who was I talking to the other day? I think I was talking to Aisha. Hmm. Uh, Aisha. <laughs> I, oh. <laughs> Probably you should sort that pronunciation I, yes, out. Aisha. Pronunciation. I was talking to Aisha. Yes. And she said that... Um, what was she saying? I can't remember what we was talking about now, but it, it ended up with a conversation. I, I ended up with me saying, we just need to decide on a Christmas vegetable we can carve before entirely boycotting Halloween. Why would you want to entirely boycott Halloween? Well, I'm glad because that's Because the Halloween. best thing about Halloween is carving the pumpkins. Yeah. People, well, if you're a child, it's... If, you, if you're a child getting trick sweets, or treats, then yeah. yes, that's definitely... I don't want to say um, if you're a child, because I think trick-or-treating for older teenagers should be a thing! Really? Because, yeah. What Up about to fully like... grown adults? What would you do if I come knocking on your door saying trick or treat? <sighs> I mean, apart from saying, how on earth do you know where I live? I wouldn't open the door. <laughs> we put like black bags over our, our, like, our windows and stuff. What if I dress as a bloodstained Santa and knock on your door That's calling through the letterbox? Trick or That's treat. That's so horrific. Do not. Do not do that. Okay. I, I just get, I'm like, Mum, can you buy a bag of sweets? And then we're like, oh, we don't want to do trick-or-treating. <laughs> so we just eat the bag of sweets. That's how do Halloween you, works in my head. Do you agree? Would you, would you agree that the whole theory of uh, if there's a pumpkin carved and lit on mm. somebody's doorstep or mm. you know, in the front garden... That means open to trick-or-treaters. That means it's open to trick-or-treaters. If there yeah. isn't, do not go there. Yeah. Would you agree with that? If you see that? no lights, if you see no sign of life... Yeah, if you see no activity in the house, I would stay clear. What if you see an elderly man in the window pointing a paintball gun at you? I'd, I'd run. Nice. <laughs> I'd change their That also works as a sign to stay away. Yeah. What if you see... Should I get a cardboard see... cutout of a man with a potent paint gun put in the window? What if you see the figure of a man in the window with a paintball gun and a carved pumpkin all lit up in the front garden? It's mixed messages. I can't, I can't read that. <laughs> I don't know. We have some more Awareness Weeks lined up starting from tomorrow, the 24th of September. Next, tomorrow triggers the start of the Red Squirrel Awareness Week. Uh, urology Week. I actually saw a massive protest in London yesterday. Might have been something. Was it a urology life. protest? I do not know. What is urology the study of? Euro. <sighs> I, <laughs> I caught I, you out there, didn't you I? You did a bit. You did a bit. So look, I'm, I'm guessing it's unrelated to the red squirrel. Didn't we discuss this the other week? Oh, we did. Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. Um, it's not for live air. 
I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like you caught me out there. We also okay. have the, Sorry about that. the National Eye Health Week starting mm-hmm. from tomorrow. We have Sexual Health Week uh, Awareness starting tomorrow. We have the World Reflexology Week. And we have a National Recycling Week all kicking off tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So, so so there's going to be something now you could get involved with. There's got to be something you should could, could yeah, get interested in. Yeah, recycling is not that difficult. Recycling, sexual health, red squirrels. Um, there's a sentence I never thought of. There is. <laughs> yeah, there's, yeah some, too many things could be said about that. What do you say we throw on a few more tunes? Yeah. Now, I am really, really curious because I am sure I did not put this on the system. <laughs> I have no idea why this has ended up on my uh, playlist. I feel it's Halloween. I feel like this is such a mystery to me that I can only assume and point fingers that one of our tech crew who's currently in a media suite may have slipped this one in here. But I'm also I'm just so confused because it wasn't there and now it is. <laughs> and I have no explanation. It might it, have slipped up from the other show. If it wasn't her, I have no idea where it came from. In that case, I have no idea where it's coming from. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. This is a mystery. Oh, I have no. no idea. I've never heard of this song before in my life. I have no Those idea what it was. Those that aren't watching live, the head of tech just came in and went, it wasn't me. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> terrifying. I have no idea where this came from. It was not on the playlist at the start of the show, and it's just appeared out of nowhere. But I'm going to play it because I'm curious. For oh whatever God. reason, someone somewhere out there has decided we need to play this. Yeah. So stick around to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. I'm scared. I know. <laughs> Creep by Radiohead. Before that, we had the the Hills by The Weekend, a song that I did not put on the system, and since I still cannot figure out where it came from, and that kind of made me nervous, I thought I might make myself feel better by letting Jade know we're going live in two seconds. Mm-hmm, thank you. I had to rein in my potty mouse for that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. I am White Shadow and you are Jade Thornton. I'm cold, that's what I am. And and Jade is cold. Cold. Winter the, is here. Winter, winter is, is here. Winter is coming. In an airtight room with an air con. Yeah, I'm cold. I just, I just, yeah, I, we, we need to put the air con on full again. <laughs> no. We do. It's warming up in here. It's not good. It's cold. It's not good. We need icicles hanging from the ceiling. Uh, that would no, be I awesome. thought it was coconuts. Or coconuts, yes. <laughs> it used to be conkers. We're now doing mm, okay. coconut wars. Decided by Jade earlier in the show. Um, d- I'm, I'm speechless now. I'm <laughs> Why does Radiohead trick you to the core? I've Yes, I'm still confused by the hills the weekend. <laughs> I did not put that on the system. Oh, well. I really want to know how it got there. <laughs> And it was almost quite, quite. A, I mean, it followed on quite nicely with Creep, actually, by Radiohead. Yeah. The two mm-hmm. kind of coincided together quite nicely. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. And yeah, timing, epic. It's just, it just worked. Mm-hmm. And I am just confused and kind of speechless. I've got two topics I wanted to talk about, but I feel like I don't want to talk about them right now. They're both, they're just so in depth, and I feel like I. Uh... Go on, quick brush over. Okay, right, quick brush over. Scientists have discovered a way of uploading knowledge to your brain. Yes, please. In a sort of a matrix style How much? electro. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was sort of like a simulator which could feed information directly into a person's brain and teach them how uh, teach them new skills in a shorter amount of time and they found that when they experimented on this using piloting things teaching people to pilot a plane they had a collection of people who were receiving they were (laughs) they were uh, i'm pretty sure it's a simulator not okay okay. i'm assuming (laughs) yeah i'm assuming they haven't been electrocuting people's brain cells in in midair um but yeah, they had a collection of people who were receiving that, tr- that treatment, that experiment, and a collection of placebo yeah. uh, 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 testers. What, what a and- wide end of the spectrum to go, though. I'd, I'd teach them how to, like, cook a meal or something. You boil an egg. Yeah. 
Not fly a plane. I, I think they chose flying a plane because it kind of in, involves mental you either know concentration how to do it you don't know and how to physical it. concentration. Yeah. It sort of uses all of your motor skills simultaneously. So does boiling the neck. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is true, yes. And they found that every person who um, was receiving the experimental treatments yeah. was learning how to pilot this plane 33% faster wow. than the people on the placebo. No, it's definitely... I can take that, learn another instrument. Yeah, you can, yeah. It's, it's, cool. it's something that even the Egyptians were using kind of... Uh, Sorry, what? Egyptians... Yeah, I heard yeah, you, but what? <laughs> over 4,000 years ago were using electric eels oh. to, to cure illnesses and diseases and oh, pains okay. and things like that. Oh, okay, I think you meant like, like input information. I was like, what? I was like, yeah, 4,000 years ago, the ancient uh, yeah, Egyptians like, were Sorry? using electricity. Pardon? This, <laughs> this is the truth behind Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. What a misunderstood um, character. <laughs> it is. Trust me, I could go on forever. What's your next topic? Otherwise, I will carry on. Okay, yes. Next, about how next misunderstood topic. Friends this has is. been going around for a couple of, what, six months, a year, maybe more now. The okay. story of the Croydon cat killer. Mm. Who has. Uh, uh, the Met Police have been sort of hunting down this this mysterious thing. Um, over 500 pets have been killed by why what was labeled the croydon cat killer we are too uh, good as human beings for pets we are too good we as don't human deserve beings them. As pets and now we have decided apparently that the case is now closed after scotland yard revealed details of one aspect of it and the scientist the, the guy who originally examined a lot of the cats re-examined them and realized yeah. there was a whole bunch of new clues that he didn't see the first time and yeah i've reached, been reading that he doesn't exist they've reached the conclusion that it was foxes on the hunt but 500 These, pets five uh, there's there's quite a few foxes. my area there, has but, a lot of foxes but i don't they, hear of pets down my road being there are plenty of signs on some of these murdered so, some of the cat of cat of some of the the the, the <laughs> yes, there, there's been a lot of uh, things to suggest that the some of the cats may have been hit by cars and the foxes have been scavenging the remains. And there has been scientific research proving that animals like foxes, when they're uh, eating, they tend to chew the tails and the heads off of them Ugh. for various reasons and there's been cctv so footage of a fox walking through a school playground with the head of a cat in the mouth oh. but, yeah the school woke up one oh, morning no. and found a cat's head on the just, just sitting there and they assumed somebody had put it there they watched the cctv footage back and they saw a fox walking into the premises holding the cat's head in its mouth so is it foxes are taking over so there oh, is word. so much, you know, there's fox DNA being found on the wounds of all five cat bodies that a doctor was given to examine. Mm. Um, the blunt trauma they found in some of them may have been caused by being hit by a car or something like that. And since foxes oh, are so kind of scavengers, they may have been, yeah, you know, so so it, it the case has been closed. The uh, as, as far as the Met Police, Scotland Yard, everybody else are uh, concerned, it looks like it may have been foxes. Hunting or scavenging. But, but so why did the whole Croydon cat killer thing come up in the first place? Like, why was that theory but obtained? Originally, the... Uh, because the, I don't think... The post-mortems, the if that's the right word. Originally, yeah. the post-mortems, if that's the right word, was um, was uh, concluded that there was blunt trauma was found on the bodies, along with a sharp object used to cut the Teeth. limbs... Which fox teeth. which now looks like it would have been fox's teeth, and some of the blunt force may have been caused by being hit by cars or other, you know, circumstances, situations. That's that's what that's what they're saying. Um, that's what they're saying, which is why after they 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 took these bodies back and re-examined them, and found you know with more detail, more yeah. concentration, and found signs of fox's DNA around the wounds and what looked like bite marks and things like that, and and that, that's what they're going with. Do you think it's correct, or do you oh. think there is still a somebody out there? I mean, how close together did all of these things happen? Over what span of time? A, a fight, I, I can't remember how long ago. Because if that's such a high volume of animals uh, in uh, in one area mm -hmm. in yeah. a short period of time, I think that's a person because 
I've, I can see. Like, if you go out, if I you go it's... outside of my house and, bo- and after bin day, there's just loads of food everywhere because foxes are like savages. But, but I, there's I, loads I, of pets down my road and they're not being murdered. There's, <laughs> you know? There, yes. Uh, I find they all they, coincide just a little bit too much. They were for it concentrated to just be into a certain area. A lot of them. It's why it was called the Croydon Cat Killer. Oh, I so I so uh, don't want it to be true because was, the the idea yeah. of somebody out there killing five hundred pets. I think thinking about it, cats. I think it was around three years. Five hundred cats in three years. That's but, still a lot. I mean, it's still a lot. But I'm wondering how many cats are out there and how many cats do die on a daily basis for various things that don't get reported in the media. I mean, yeah, cats are. It, it, once you get some sort of nickname, some sort of conspiracy theory like. Yeah. The Croydon yeah. cat killer. The media is going to be running with a lot more stories that maybe because it's a lot. It's a lot harder problem to tackle if you're just going. It's foxes killing your pets than going. It's a lot easier to pin it on one it's guy. One, yeah, one person running around doing these things. It, it's, it creates a story for the media to sell to. Oh, and we know they love a good story. Yes. Yes, they love a good story. So I think that's the case with most things. When, um, when, yeah, if if there's something that seems to be happening frequently the very second you come up with a conspiracy theory or an idea or a clue or the theory you know you get people run with that mm. and the croydon cat killer it's i mean it's mm. it's such a bad it's situation but it's, that's what yes. people love <laughs> yes exactly exactly yeah. and that's that's what i think a lot of it may have come down to i think if i mean it probably didn't help that the uh, guy who examined the bodies didn't Notice Fox's DNA and other obvious things in the first place. This could have been resolved yeah, three slightly. years ago. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I mean, think... I'd say that I don't know. I don't know any other way to put this, but I know films aren't the truest of um, portrayals. But if I've seen anything, because I don't own a cat, mm-hmm. cats are a lot more. <laughs> this is going to sound really over the top, but more gang orientated than dogs are. Yeah. Like you know when yeah. they go out and they. Cats are a lot more. F- obviously, you don't let your you don't let your dog go free, and then <laughs> like it's just weird. Cats just wander in and out, and they always know when. They, well, touch wood, they always know they're coming home. Yeah, but they come. Like, I've seen cats come back with like scratches, and you don't get dogs doing that. No, but cats are a lot more free. Yeah, yeah, a lot more free. A lot mm-hmm. more likely to be encountering issues. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Um. And we've run out of time. I know. I know. I know. I know you actually sound disappointed. We can stick around for another hour if you want. I'm good. I, I yes, got you a sausage are. roll or two in the car. So. Oh, a sausage roll. I remember yeah. a few weeks ago during a really hot weather, you had a few sausage rolls cooking in the car. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, it's thank you so much for states. tuning in to Insanity Radio. Stick around because there will be more music throughout. Got some bangers coming up. We've got some bangers coming up. and we. Oh, oh, that reminds me. I've got to end with the right song, haven't I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got to do some rearranging. We've got to do some rearranging. Uh, Jade, thank you so much for coming in. Very I welcome. Have my fingers crossed that you will be here again next week yes. fingers crossed fingers crossed next week i may be doing my show from 12 to two two thank you yes yeah, so i was gonna say 12 till three then maybe but i still need to check there is a new schedule coming up very very soon so keep your eyes peeled on the website insanityradio.com for the new schedule for the new term and it is going to be awesome nice good luck to all the people that are moving in today and stuff Yes, good People, luck, yeah. good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, and join Insanity Radio. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, let's get ready to rumble! Let's get ready to rumble! Let's get ready, ready, let's get ready, ready, let's get ready to rumble! Watch us wreck the mic, watch us wreck the mic, watch us wreck the mic.